Here's an Inmarsat iSat Front 2. And I'm going to show you how to find a connection, add a contact, make a call, send a text message, share your location, and lastly, the assistance button. You can see that I'm outdoors in a large open area with no obstructions around me such as tall buildings. This is important to get a good connection for your iSat Phone 2 as you need a good line of sight between your phone's antenna and an Inmarsat satellite in orbit. Before you can do anything, you need to turn on the phone by pressing firmly on the red button. Then deploy the antenna and make sure you hold the phone with the antenna upright, pointing at the sky. It's now ready because I've got more than two signal bars. To make calls and send text messages, you need at least two bars. Next, I'll show you how to add a contact on your iSat Phone 2. It's easy to do and saves you having to remember contact details. Select Contact by pressing the top right button on the keypad. Select Phone Book, then go to Options and select New Contact. I will now add contact details of my colleague Sarah. As the iSat Phone 2 is a satellite phone, all phone numbers should be saved as full international numbers. After entering the contact details, press Options and select Save. Sarah is now added to my phone book as a contact. There are two ways of making a call, either from the saved contacts or by typing a number into the keypad. To call a contact, simply select Contact and go to Phone Book. Highlight the name of the person you want to call and press the green call button to dial. If you don't have a phone number saved, you can type one directly into the keypad using a full international number. First, type 00, then the country code, for instance 44 for the UK, the area code and the rest of the number. When ready, press the green button to place the call. When on the call, you may need to adjust the angle of the antenna so that it remains pointed at the sky while the handset is comfortably positioned for talking. To hang up, simply press the red button. To send a text message, press the top left button to open menu. Then select the messaging icon. It's already highlighted. Select new message and again, then go into text message. Next, move the cursor up to the to box and enter the number just like you would if making a call. Or select the saved number from the contact menu. Then move the cursor down to write the message using a keypad. When you're ready to send, select Options and select Send. This envelope icon with a little flashing green arrow indicates that the text message is being sent. A message will then appear on the screen confirming that the text has been sent. That means we're done. Don't forget, the antenna must be deployed and pointing towards the sky to send messages. Let's say you're in the field and want to share your location with your team elsewhere. It's not an emergency situation, just business as usual. There are three options to do this on the iSat Phone 2. Tracking, personal alert, and sending your GPS location all require you to be connected to the network. Sending your GPS location is a one-off message. So, I'll take you through how to do that. Press the menu button on the top left. Then, using the central navigation keys, scroll down to Location Services. Select this and it will open a list of options. Scroll down to Send GPS. The iSat Phone 2 then asks you to obtain a new GPS location and shows that you have a GPS fix acquired. You can now send a location as either a text message, short email message or a tweet. Next, move the cursor up to the To box and enter the number just like you would if making a call. Or else, select the saved number from the contacts menu. Once ready to send, press Options, followed by Send. Like sending a text, the same envelope icon with a little flashing green arrow indicates that it's been sent. A message will then appear on the screen, confirming that your GPS location has been sent. It's as easy as that. A life-saving feature of the iSat Phone 2 is the Assistant button, located here on the top of the handset. In a critical situation, the assistance button allows you to initiate a voice call 
or trigger an assistance alert message, including your GPS location, to your pre-selected recipients, allowing them to notify emergency services. Once configured, to use the assistance button, your handset must be switched on and the antenna deployed. Flip open the latch located here to reveal the assistance button and press firmly to activate. We recommend that you configure this assistant feature as soon as you have your phone. Hopefully you will never have to use it. That's it. I hope the video was helpful. For more information on iSat Phone 2, please visit inmarsat.com. Thank you.